walk right into that spider. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. Arcane communion forms a bond that transcends physical space. I shall do my best to keep Theron off the line. Hunt you down! Mine. 
No, it's not. Give that back, bitch. Fucking spiders. I know my path. Well, I'd hope so. You look like a druid. Come, the Feldoroi make their home in the ruins below. No oh, goody. He's sparkling. He's leaving sparkles. Oh, man. Gimme, gimme. Dude, you don't even wait. Ooh, flower. Follow the water. Oh, at least I didn't die. There she is. Foolish surface dwellers, be gone! Come, my children, feast on their bones. You can run, bitch, but you can't hide.
meetings. She must not open the seed. killed you. This passage will lead us out. Not far now. I know you have been rebuilding the old teleporters. The beacon here will connect us to your Shelderai friends. Ah, I will leave my cinder. Those halls once glowed with prayers to Elun. I imagine it is less hospitable now. Uh, hold still, I will get you out of there.
It is an Arkendor, a gift of the ancient Magi, a tree made to feed upon the ley line. It can bring life or desolation. To care for the Arkendor is a yeah, great Yeah, it was. Burden. It was pretty bad. One That's why I didn't no mess with putting any other face products on. I just did the eye licks. This is called War to Warcraft. We uh, are masters of the arcane, huh. Night Elf. Arrogant. I think we can handle it. In a time, tree. you will see. Beneath the Arkendor, you will be renewed. There is no other path now. Ishnu Allah. And day for us. Farewell. Aran it's a, it initially the games that I started playing, and I'm I'm having problems with allergies today. This eye is driving me nuts. Um But it started off with Diablo as as and then um they designed Warcraft, and you, there was Warcraft 1, 2, and 3, and the last one that they came out with before, uh, uh, well, they came out with something called the Frozen Throne. I own all of them. And they somewhere in there they made Starcraft 1, and then people were craving, like, online games, so they built World of Warcraft, um, which is called WoW. It's... It, it's a PC game. And then they made Diablo, and Diablo is now on its third expansion. So there's Diablo 3. They made StarCraft an online version game and making it into StarCraft 2. They have a game called Hearthstone, which is basically a card version of the game, kind of like uh, Pokemon or Magic the Gathering. And it's all the cards are based off of World of Warcraft characters. And, um,. The night well calls to me. So the you can actually play Hearthstone. Yeah, it's okay. Um, you can play Hearthstone on your iPad. You can't play it on an iPhone, but you can play it on an iPad. So when I'm like really not feeling good or whatever, or I'm having a really bad day and I just I need to spend the day in bed, I'll play Hearthstone on my iPad. Um, they have a game called Heroes of the Storm, which takes characters from all of their various games and combines them all into one. And what it does is it allows you to like become a hero and you fight through uh, mazes and stuff, kind of like League of Legends. And then they just came out with a game a couple years back called Overwatch, which is a PvP version uh, where you go in and you either fight against AI or you fight against other players and um, there's different things that you have to do and like there's capture the flag and then there's bosses that you have to kill or there's maps that you have to maneuver and, and like uh, they have like escort miss missions where you have to like protect something and get it from point A to point B and they just came out with another game called Destiny 2 and I downloaded it. I haven't played it yet. I got it for free because I've been with World of Warcraft since the beginning. So, um, as somebody who's been playing for freaking years, they um, there's games and stuff that I get for free just for you know having a, a WoW account. For my dad pays for my WoW subscription. It says I have zero viewers, but I mean I see you in chat, so. That's all that matters. I'm using an app called Stream OBS or Streamlabs OBS. This is what my dashboard looks like. So I and I have an, a pop-out window um, that allows me to see the chat while I'm in the game. I've played a, I've played quite a few Disney games, especially on like my iPad. Um, I remember when the Tinkerbell game out game came out for the Nintendo DS. My daughter wanted that so bad, and so I saved up and I bought it. And she played the absolute snot out of that game. And when she wasn't playing it, I was playing it. But yeah, this is what my backside looks like. 
Um, so like if somebody joins the channel, you can see like under memberships here, that tells me like if somebody um, subscribes to my channel while I'm streaming, um, there are like if somebody sends me a chat donation, there's this here. It shows me like how loud my mic is and what my webcam and stuff is doing and it allows me to adjust the volume like if I'm too quiet or too loud, that kind of thing. I can adjust it here in the back side of it. And then just to show you, I've got this this screen that shows, you know, starting soon so I can put my mic on mute and put this on so that people can see that, um, you know, I'm, I'm streaming. And I actually start the stream and, and do this. And then if I need to like get up and you know take a, a bathroom break or something, I can do this and click on be right back. There's an intermission one, which I don't have like, I should have, I guess, edited where it says your name for like my social media tags, but I didn't. And then there's this, this screen as well. And then I can actually come into my editor let me magic kingdom oh there we go oops there's one Which one is this for? That's for Facebook. I don't really have a Facebook. And then this one. Okay, so those pages are edited. Yay. But it's kind of neat. I can do like an intermission like where I stop playing the game and then you can, you know, still see me and stuff. And I always think this is so trippy because um, of the fact that it's kind of like looking in a mirror where you can like, it just continually does the thing, Kingdom Hearts. I've, I've heard of that, but I haven't played it. And I kind of like covered up the LED lights because I have to fold this up anyways because the cats want to get on it and destroy it. So that's why that's up behind me. I mean, I don't know if it makes a difference if I uncover them or not with the brightness in here, but it is what it is. It just keeps the cats from tearing up the drop, um, the backdrop. Yeah, and the funny thing is, is I found that when I moved the lights when they weren't covered, it's like you... It was really weird, like, uh, the little light bulbs and stuff, uh, as I moved, you could, like, see them, like, pop up, and they would, like, go into focus and then go back out of focus. So I thought that was a little weird. So I decided to leave it covered. I just turned it on because it's, it's dark in here. Dad had to go. He came home for a little while, and then he had to leave to go to another job. So it is what it is. But for whatever reason, my little chat window isn't showing me like that anybody's in the stream even though on here it shows me that I'm I you know have people viewing me oh I didn't know that's what that window did see what happens when I click stuff yeah even doing that it still didn't refresh the
I wanted to try and refresh it, but it's not looks like it's not going to. Yeah, I, I don't know why it does that. It says two viewers at the very top of the screen. But I know I have this open here. So technically, I guess you could say that I count as one. And I left Facebook open so I could chat back and forth with you. But um, this is what like the back side of the actual live streaming page looks like. And then this shows, you know, like when people like came in and interactions. So the green is interactions like comments and then the blue are, are like viewers. And then this tells me, you know, how good the stream is doing. And then you've got all these other features, but in order, I think in order to stream like this though, um, you have to have a computer. The camera feature right here is what I use when I'm streaming with my webcam. I don't have most of these features, but that is like the Google Hangouts part of stuff. Yeah. But, you know, you also have to take into consideration that it was December and, like, AdSense for December, everybody's, like, raving about how high it is and because of all the Christmas ads and that kind of stuff that usually AdSense money doubles for December. And then I put out a video on December 8th and it literally has the most views ever on my channel. Hi, Big Boss. Um, the only thing with me streaming like this, though, is... I can't, I have to go back to YouTube in order to like monitor the comments. So even though I have the pop-up chat window here and I can see it, that it's difficult for me to, um, I, I can't go and, and do anything about anybody that's being inappropriate. Would you guys stop tracking crap? I'm not trying to track all of that crap. Oh, Nicola, I told Dad about the guy that keeps commenting on like all my videos about the uh, more hair videos on stuff that's not even hair related. Like, dude, my channel isn't just about hair content. I don't know. Just, it's weird. Let me check on the cat. See if he's out here. Bobby! Uh, I reckon he can stay out. It's actually not bad out. It's it's a nice temperature out. I'd say it's it's probably mid to late seventies temperature wise. Yeah, you're you're right. I have to agree with that comment. It it was it kind of weirded me out when he started asking like um, where I lived and how close to Orlando I lived, and I'm like, uh, okay, um, little little too invasive there, bub. I gotta go all the way up there. So. Fun. Lines race. So I gotta go. Why'd they send me back here if I gotta go all the way up there? Jesus. Well, I'll wander back in here. There we go. Whoa! But I mean, this is actually, I guess you could say, pretty, uh, It's pretty efficient because I'm not just sitting here at my computer um, like doing a regular live stream because I can, yeah, it's a, uh... well, that's not too bad temperature wise. I mean, given the fact that you have to add 32 degrees 
Uh, it's about 39 there. Warmer than it was yesterday. Not by much. Um, but I, I don't know. This, I think, even though I can't, like, I'm not looking at myself. I like being able to, like, do stuff when I'm streaming. That's why when I stream and I do, like, a hair tutorial or a makeup look or something like that, it gives me something to do, something to keep busy. So, I don't know. I guess it's because I get bored easy. I gotta go up there. And I still have my piece of paper with me. So, what did you think of... <gasps> Where the frack did the bridge go? Thank God there was water. Yeah, I can. I'm good at multitasking. Except for when the damn map falls out from underneath me. Get up on that rock. Get, get your little short ass up on that rock. Okay, you see the bridge. It's there, right? Let's see if I can go over it again and not fall fucking through it. Can I? Nope. Okay, swimming it is. What the hell, man? Again, thank God there's water under it. Or I could have just kept falling. Oh, seriously? You want to you wanna chew on me? Okay. One ass whooping coming right up. So, um, I told Dad knows what's going on with those people with the eyelashes. I think I'm going to be doing a video on it because what they did to me is so not cool. Get your little short butt out of the water. Any, any other crocodiles want to pick on me? Come on, I got a big old can of whoop ass right here. Alright, I'm gonna pick on both of the mothers at one time. Hey, you, come here. You got you both all nice and pissed off? Perfect. So, um, number one, the fact that they, they reached out to me on Twitter. I told them that I would, um, buy their lashes and try them out but I would give an honest review and then I would leave my review on Amazon which is what I agreed to that's what I told them that I would do and then um, I tried the lashes out I sent them a couple of messages I didn't get a reply so um, I sent them pictures of what happened to them, and then they want to tell me that their lashes aren't waterproof. Like, seriously? Dude, these are going on somebody's eye, and you want to tell me that the reason why they fell apart like that and slid right off the little fishing line is because of they're not waterproof, and I got them wet. Um, my eyes water, like, 24-7, just like my nose runs, and I have allergies, so... To tell me that lashes are not waterproof, I think is probably the most asinine thing ever. And then they were like, oh, well, we can pay you, we'll, we'll pay you um, $8 if you remove your negative review. What? Barrels of fun. to move this so I can read. Well, I think the lashes were a little bit, I think they were like $8 and change or $9. And then they wanted to, they went on my website and offered to buy a chakra bracelet worth $10 for me to take the review down. Yeah, that's what dad said. 
so like that when the barrel flashes white after shuffling around. Okay. <laughs> yep. That's what I thought. I didn't do it again. <clears throat> I think that's what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, got that one. Oh, God, now there's four. Okay. What a pain. I think I lost it. I think it's this one. <laughs> nope. I don't know if I can do this one. Yeah. Well, that's why I tagged Drama Channel in my post on Instagram and the post on Twitter to see if uh, she'd be willing to research that kind of stuff to see if, if they've done it to anybody else. Because it's not right. <laughs> I give the fuck up, man. Get out of there. Fuck you and your barrels. I need 400. I should be okay. <laughs> but, and I was actually watching Porcelain Cosmetics. She was talking about how some of these companies, like, try and get you, like, say that they're looking for X, Y, and Z, and they want you to sign up to be an affiliate with them. And they want you to repost their post on your profile. Oh, shit. And then what they'll do is they'll repost you. And you'll get, you know, something for the repost. Or they might... Um, Right? Well, technically they did try and blackmail me. And then they're like, oh, well, uh, if you take your review down, then it'll be like you didn't leave one. Uh, no, I left a review, but if I delete my review, the problem is, is will I be able to uh, go back and leave another review for that product once I've deleted my review? I know I can edit it and then go back and work on it after. But if I delete it, then I don't know if I'll be I'm able to, to write a new one. And then they're like, oh, well, my boss angry because you, um, ended. I, my, my boss angry I because you left three star review and I get in so much trouble because you, you not leave five star review and nobody buy lashes because you left three star review. I said, no, I left an honest review. You're lucky I gave you three stars. I was being nice. Um, I explained what happened. I gave all the details. I did this, 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 and this. And it's not my fault that your lashes are made poorly. Then they tried to like, they're like, oh, well, if you, uh, we'll send you four other designs to try out. And then the next line says, but only if you change your review. Oh, yeah, let me. Let's 
So, yeah, I'm pretty heated about that. It really kind of Greetings. sets my ass on fire, to be honest. Hmm. Now, if I go get more mana, I can bring more people. Trust. Okay? I'm going to go mana fishing then. Yeah, I turn I turn the game volume down. I kind of feel like I'm yelling anyways cuz I'm angry. But I don't know. But it, it's like it's seriously like some shady crap that they're trying to pull thinking that they can get away with it. And you know, I wonder that's why I was thinking about making a video on it is because I wonder how many other people Hey DK, I wonder how many other people they've done this to. And they've, you know, they've had other, like, when I first looked at the lashes that they have and I looked at all the other ones that they had, most of the other lash, lash designs that they had listed on Amazon had really poor reviews. So I was like, okay, well, they're going to find somebody like me that doesn't have a whole lot of followers on Instagram and Twitter because I just deleted like 4,000 people on, on Instagram. I had, um, I had over 5,000 followers at one point, but I was trying to get on with Tribe uh, to get sponsored content and to be able to do sponsorships or get PR, and they said I had to get rid of all of my ghost and inactive followers on Instagram in order for them to approve my account. So I installed an app. I paid $2.99 for it and I had it uninstall or like it, what it did was it blocked and then unblocked everybody that was following me that was either inactive, didn't have a profile picture or had followed me but never had interacted with my content. So I lost literally like 4,500 people in a matter of three days. And there's, if you look on my Instagram, you can see my posts about it. So it's, it's not like I hid what I was doing. And I let everybody know that, you know, if you really truly do follow me and you want, look at this, the, the map is missing. What the hell, Blizzard? Um, I don't know what would happen if I walked out there. Look at this. Look at all of you. Go look under the map. That's kind of cool. Let me go walk over here in this building. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to I'm going to do some research on them. It won't let me walk in the building. Hello. I stuck. Actually, what I'll, I'll have I ha, I'll have to do a video on it because they were not made like normal eyelashes. Basically, it was like three lines of fishing line, and they had slid the lash um, the lash segments onto one of the lines. But when you cut the lashes to fit your eye shape, like you would with any normal pair of lashes, the ends that had been like hot glued or burned or whatever in order to like sear the end it um the only one side was still like sealed so the other side was like open so the lashes were like literally just sliding right off the fishing line people i'm like seriously stuck Yeah, I, I have to use lash glue that is latex and formaldehyde free because I'm allergic to both latex and formaldehyde. And most lash glues contain both. So, I know it's not my lash glue because I've been using that for a while and it works perfectly fine on all my other lashes. But what I usually do when I take lashes off, if I notice that I've got mascara like gunked on them or built up, I, I rinse them off and if that doesn't, 
um, work to, to get the either um, the mascara off. I'll take the oil cleanser that I use on my face to remove eye makeup and black eyeliner and that kind of stuff. Um, I use that in order to, like, I'll massage it into the lashes in order to break up the mascara, and then I rinse it with warm water, and then I, I'm able to, like, peel the extra glue off of it a lot easier. But when I went to wa wash the lashes, I was holding on to them, and I was doing this on the lashes, and then I, I would switch fingers and, and, you know, hold it with one side, and it's like I went like this, and, like, a whole chunk of the lashes, like, fell off. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, my eyelashes are really long. They're just, like, half of them are blonde, though. Like, halfway up the shaft, they, they go blonde. So, even though I've got nice lashes, I mean, I don't have to wear lashes, but on days where I have, like, crap makeup on, I'll throw a pair of lashes on to make the look look better. <laughs> Seriously, what is wrong with you? I can't log out. Okay, let's try this. Can't do that while moving. You're making me angry. Can't do that while moving. I'm not fucking moving. I'm stuck. There's a difference. Oh goody, now I just clicked something in my bag and used it. I am stuck like Chuck, man. Yeah, um, the ones that I have are either Ardell's or Kiss Lashes, and, you know, they're like a dollar to four dollars a pair. Um, they're like super cheap, but they're nice. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of this mess. Seriously? I can't teleport to the graveyard because I'm moving. No, I'll probably use them. I mean, I don't use lashes like all the time, but I do like using them. This is ridiculous. Let me... I gotta reload. Wow. It's like being...
being a pain. Yeah, no dud ain't responding. Close that shit. Well, that'll be nice. Woo. I think that was a mosquito. Being attacked. waiting on my computer screen to come back to normal because I closed I had to close while down I was like stuck there's no such thing as perfect lashes there really isn't there really isn't I get to relaunch wow see if I'm still stuck in that building running 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 makes me want to say are we there yet how about now now no why not business. I already did the time walking event. I might do it again though. Dark Moon Fair. Okay, is the map here? Yay, got a map back. Alright, let me let me put this let me put this on the be right back screen so that way people don't see your Facebook. I mean you literally are the only person on my YouTube channel that has my Facebook account those are beautiful lashes beautiful
I love it. People like wave at me or poke me on Facebook and I ignore it. I, ha I even have one of those posts that says, uh, don't poke me or something like that. Okay, I'm back. got to go find man. I have 604 and I need 650 for the next like bump up. I reckon I could do your race. Not really. And the thing is about lashes, that um, your eyelashes, they if you like pull eyelashes out, uh, it takes like three to four months for that individual lash to grow back. Lashes take forever to grow. That's why they have all those like serums and stuff for eyelashes. Is so that, you know, people that have a hard time growing lashes 
Yeah, they, they don't really, it just appears that way. And some people have conditions where, like, now, if you, like, if I was to show you my eye up close, I have lashes that grow in my actual waterline. So, um, it, they, like, curl down into my eye sometimes. I, it's, it's funny. Eyelashes don't, aren't always the same on everybody. It's kind of like hair. Alright, you guys can see what I'm doing, right? I didn't even check to see if I was in frame or anything. Yes, no, maybe so. Castor oil is supposed to be good for it too. I guess for people that can't, you know, grow their lashes like longer or thicker, it just all depends on what works for them. I've thought about trying castor oil on my lashes, but I'm a, you know, with some of those things, though, it can get into your actual eye and like change your eye color. Like, um, hell, what was that ad that all those people were promoting there for a while? Basically what it was is they were promoting this lash growth serum and it was causing their like eye colors to change. So say you've got blue eyes and you use it, it could change your eyes to look brown. So that's not, you know, that's not good. I know Claire Danes did an ad with those people and she um, she was using the product for a while and it, it literally changed her, like part of her eye went and changed to brown because of the whatever the product is in or the ingredient in the product that helps grow your, your lashes. And I know, um, was it Brooke Shields? No, you put it on your, your actual eyelashes, but because it's so close to your eye, the product was getting down into their actual eyeball and it was changing the color of their eyes. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to put something on my lashes that could go into your eye and then essentially change the shade of your eyes. Uh, you know, I can understand if it like changed it to something that I would want it to be, but it always, uh, it it always had the potential to change your eyes to a shade of brown. And I don't want brown eyes. I like my blue eyes. If anything, I'd want, I'd want, um, you know, green in my eyes. I've always wanted green eyes. Uh, not all lashes are made in China, no. There are companies that make them here in the U.S., but they're like $40 for one pair of lashes. But you can also wear them for like 25 to 50 times without having to throw them out or them looking all ratty and whatnot.
Yeah, it really does. Cliff. Bad. Bad. No running off cliff. There's one up here. I've never bet on anything. I mean, like, I've played the lottery, but, you know, buying a scratch-off ticket or a lotto ticket, that's, like, not the same. I don't know much about betting, to be honest, so I've never... Holy crap, that's like $250 or $250,000? Did I get something for it? That's it. Blood of Sargeras. That's it. That's all I got. Damn. No, no kiss on the neck. No pat on the butt. No nothing. I just got to reach around. That is a lot of freaking money. That That is, that's worth, you know, you could buy an entire house for that kind of money here. That's a lot of money. Well, if they're living in L.A., they can probably afford it, but it's against the law here in Florida to do gambling, unless it's like the Florida Lotto, or you get on a boat and you leave the shoreline, because they have the boats and stuff that go out in, I think, Tampa, and there's one in Miami. Well, I think... Most places require you to be 21 to gamble, or I should say mo most countries. Where are you running to? What you, what you doing, Night Elf? Oh, it's you me. your human palidon. What's that? Bandicoon, and there's a thistle up here. Where's the flower? Flower. This is a flower's down. What the hell, man? I just want to pick your flower. Oh. Yeah, probably making some pretty decent money then. There's some mana. It's probably so they don't get their butts in trouble. So wait, you can buy cigarettes and alcohol at 18, but you have to be 25 in order to buy it from most places? Is that what you're saying? See? Flower. Me picky flower. I need to target something first. I'm not trying to attack nothing. Dumb. right here. Oh, you want to bite me, do you? Okay. Be prepared to die. Oh, well, that makes sense. And here, it's 35 and under. You have to be, they, they have to ask for your ID if you're, if you look 35 and under. 
which is, you know, I still get carded if I if I go in to get something for dad because I I look under 30. Anybody else want to come bite me? Motherfucker. In mind of my own business, and a wolf just walked right up and bit me. Well, I guess it, I'd rather I'd rather be safe than sorry. But when I was a kid, um, because a girl that I was friends with, her father was the fire chief for a local city. We got approached by the. Um, FDA people or the um, the tobacco and alcohol people and they asked us if we would be willing to go like undercover for them and they would pay us in order to go into like gas stations and uh, try and procure illegal things that we weren't supposed to have to see if these places would sell to us. And um, nine times out of ten, they never even asked us how old we were. So, the, most of the places and stuff, you know, they depending on what we were able to buy, they would either get a fine or the employees would get fired, that kind of stuff. I don't know. I mean, kids are going to get it some way, somehow. Always. Because kids are resilient and they're going to find... If if their buddies think it's cool to drink or to smoke, they're going to find a way to get alcohol and cigarettes. It, it's just how it is. I know when I was younger, my friend Henry, who actually is the one I was talking about the other day with the tornado that went through his front yard... Um, his parents had a bar at their house and at his house was the first time I had ever tasted like peach schnapps or peach schnapps or um, anything like that. Now, my, um, my godmother used to always have, every year they would, she would bring like Zinfandel or a ro like some sort of like rosé or, um, something like that for us to have for like Thanksgiving or Christmas. So I know when I was younger, I was allowed to do that kind of stuff at the holidays. So Christmas and, and New Year's, Thanksgiving. I have no time for trivia. So um, I know I had like champagne and that kind of stuff, but only like small sips of it when I was younger. And my godmother's frame of thinking was, as long as they're doing it where we could, uh, you know, where they could watch us and, you know, we did it in a moderation, that kind of thing, then it was okay. But it was one of those, we would rather have you do it near us or in front of us instead of behind our backs. Which, you know, I guess is a, a pretty good philosophy if you really think about it. Oh, there's your crock of... There's a crocogator sleeping upside down. I'm going to attack him before he wakes up and tries to bite me. Yeah, I know there's... We used to do that for cigarettes, too. What is it? Well, that would be different, too. But, um, I don't know. It is what it is. So, do you want to discuss a topic from the list? Because there was actually a video... Well, there were two videos put up on some of those topics today. And I watched both of them. I still don't know why people watch you know, those kinds of videos, because every time I watch one, I'm like, why do people enjoy this crap? But, you know, I watch because I, I like the creator, so I watch to help their channel. 
half the time I put it on and I walk away from my phone. So I'm not physically sitting there watching it, I just kind of let it play. These basilisks must be bad news, man. Uh-oh, I swim in. Oh, that would be bad too. So more or less, you're, you could lose your job either way. You see this ugly, ugly thing come over here and bite me? I'm just minding my own business fishing. He want to come over here and bite me. run over and bite me, big meanies. Yeah, when I worked at grocery stores and stuff, we always asked for ID. I didn't care how old you looked, I always asked. And you know, the funny thing is, is when you ask somebody that's over 30 for their ID, they're like, oh, thank you, even though you're not really doing it to be polite or to think that they look young, even though sometimes they did. It was more along the lines of um, you did it so it wasn't your your job or your ass. So um, even though they're like, oh, that's so sweet. No, I wasn't doing it to be sweet. I'm doing it to cover my own butt. Yeah, getting old does suck. I woke up with an itchy eye this morning and uh, allergies going crazy. So this eye is like super swollen up here. And I was thinking about putting makeup on, but then I got looking at how bad my eye is. And I'm like, it just, it's just not worth it. Especially if my eye is itching, I'm going to forget that I have makeup on, and then I'm going to rub my eye like an idiot. Hey, there's a cave over here. Whoops. I done fell off. Oh, well. I'm going down there anyways. Hey, Mr. Big Ugly. I'm going to pick on you first before you pick on me. Damn it, I'm so short I can't see through the weeds. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any makeup or anything on, and minus the blemishes that I've got on my face, I, I think my skin looks pretty youthful. The only thing I would get in the lines of like that kind of stuff is filler under my eye because I have these really deep dark purple uh, spots under my eyes and what it is is because my eye is like sunken in, the capillaries that are, are under the skin show through the skin because you know the skin under your eyes is thin anyways. Um, that's the only thing that I would ever have to think about having done. Just for the simple fact that I don't like the way it looks, and I've had it ever since I was a child. I did target something. I even cast a spell to shoot it, and you were still shooting the other one. Don't yell at me. I don't have a target. Next you're going to tell me it's dead. Never mind. It is dead. Anything else in here to pilfer? Hey, somebody killing something over there. I'm gonna go be nosy. Okay, so topic topic change. And I've wondered about this for a while. 
is the empties videos. That's actually the very first thing at the top of my list. When people record videos to show you what they've used up, be it um, a makeup product or Yeah, I have like super dark circles and when I have days with my allergies going wonky, they um they look a lot worse. Or when I'm sick and my skin looks green or yellow, depending on how sick I am. Um my my dark circles look really bad. Yeah, I have olive skin. And it's funny because I'm fair, so being fair, people are like, oh, well, people with fair skin aren't olive-toned. You have to be like a medium skin tone to have an olive skin. No, you don't. I have an olive undertone in my skin, and I'm, you know, I'm paper. No, I didn't know I had three of those in my bag. Hi, fishing. Fishing. Give me that man. Fishing. This is the safest way for me to fish. When I fish in real life, I don't catch fish, I catch people. Oh no, I have I have a green hue to my skin. And the circles under my eyes aren't like beige or brown. Um, where you would use like a salmon color to like color correct. I can't use salmon. I have to use yellow because my dark circles are purple. They look like I got punched in the eye. Well, an olive skin tone is a warm undertone. And anybody that says different than that is, is not very educated on the subject. Anything over here for me to fill for? I'm gonna go pick on Annette. Mm. Hey, big ugly, come here. No, oh, no, not you, scrawny fuck. I want, I want the big ugly guy. Woo, here, here, here he comes. Come here. Bring both your heads. Oh, you're a weenie. Weenie. Yeah. And see, but people from India don't have... If you look at their dark circles, though, they're, they're a completely different color than mine. And so they use either, like, red or salmon in order to color correct. I can't use red or salmon to color correct. I know I watched a bunch of videos on it once and they were like, oh, well you have to use red or salmon undertones or peach or pink undertones in order to, to hide the dark circles. And all of those colors did was make it worse. In order to like counteract purple, and I got to thinking about it, when I was in the salon and I'd work on somebody's hair, say they have blonde hair, but it looked it looked yellow. In order to get the yellow out of their hair, I had to put purple in it. That's why they make those purple shampoos for people. Like the shimmering, uh, shimmering lights or shimmering, I don't know. It's the, the purple shampoo that old ladies use on their white hair in order to keep it looking white and not yellow. So, um, but anybody that knows anything about color correcting knows that when you look at a color wheel, purple is across from red, uh, purple is across from yellow and green is across from red. So you have to really look at the color wheel and see what colors are across from other colors to, to cancel out. I just swore I got on my mount. I keep clicking to get on 
my mount. I'm just kind of standing there. Yay! Finally! You got a clue. Let's meander up this mountain. How much do I have now? 736. I should be good enough. Oh, I was about to yell at a cat. I thought they were on the kitchen table. I thought that was Chloe up there scratching or something. Dad just got home. What you got? It's a rat. Bring it here. I, I, I want to get the feather. It's got a fan on it. Get, bring it here. It's, get, it's got a self-motivating fan. Come here. Bring it here. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Right, you shut it off. I shut it off. The fanny working. Let, let me, let me, here. I'll, let me get this dangly piece down here. Oh, I got another dangly piece. What? Is she getting you? Is she getting you? I'm going to get you. Is I'm going to get your you? back leg. Get the foot. It's like, don't touch me. Yeah, female touched me. Fucking bitch. You fucking bitch. Like, don't you touch me. So, did the gate close like it was supposed to? No. Did anybody change anything from when you were there last? Yeah, there was a guy out there last week and put a new board in. And whoever programmed it didn't bother to set the time to the correct time. Oh, son of a... Uh, yeah, we have a cat named Chloe. It's a tortoiseshell calico. She's a royal bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Jinx! You want a cracker? No. Are you going to go hide it in your bed? <laughs> she took it. You want one of these instead? Yes? Okay, come here. The fan's going again. I see that. Oh, she hates these. Look at her. Do you want one? Well, come get it. Good girl. God, if my fingers had been close enough, I'd have lost one or two. She threw it in her bed. You only get one. Go eat the other one, piggy. Get your bone. She went. She did. <laughs> <laughs> if that isn't a fuck you, I don't know what it is. <laughs> you want to crack it? Dad, watch. <laughs> you missed it. She did it again. Emin, come get it. That's the third time in a row she's done that, and you're not even watching. That's the first time I've seen one of those. There's a ladder on the side of the ship. Hey. I went up the ladder. Hey. Now, I didn't climb it, but I went up it. Let me show you. It's a ladder, see? Watch. Oh. Hey, you. Oh! Um. What the? Go back down and try that again. Great! Well, I guess it, it saves you from... Going up at the... I guess they couldn't get the animation. You saw that, did that one time I went, I did a flick going up. Yeah. I wish I could go up ladders like that and not yeah, no kill shit. myself or fall off or slide down. That'd be great. I could get on the roof faster. Nicola, did you call them again to find out what the hell was going on with your money? So, because she's on medical leave with her job, she gets a, a stipend from the government be okay. because of, you know, I guess how their system works there. She was supposed to get paid um, a while back. And All right, is she in America or is she overseas? She's in uh, Scotland. Okay. So, she went to the... 
She contacted the people and was like, yo, you know, WTF, I haven't gotten money in a while. Uh, where is it? And then she went, they had it, had her go to the bank. So she went to the bank, got the stuff that she needed, went back to the place. And then they told her it could take up to 48 hours for the money. Well, that was like Friday. Okay. And then, um, so... She, well, it was either Thursday or Friday. So then they told her, you know, she should have it by, like, Saturday or Monday. And she just sent... Because I'm technically live streaming. I'm using a, the uh, OBS thing. So it does screen records and then sends it out. Ew, what's this face? Hey, what's that? Hey, something else with 102K. You want to see me kill it? The Legion landed right on our doorstep. Oh, I've never been and here. And Elison simply let them in. Disgusting. Strike oh, it fell so hold. Show the Legion that some of us are not so easily broken. I'm going to pick on something with 102k. A gold elite. It's a fell soul crusher. Uh, right now, it's going after my demon. Uh, Nicola says it was Thursday. So, they told her 48 hours for the money. Uh, she still doesn't have the money in her account. And thankfully, because of, you know, whatever the, the program that she's on that pays for her rent. But when it comes to, like, buying groceries and that kind of stuff, she has to cover those expenses, which she doesn't mind doing. But without the money in her account, she's running low on supplies. And she says, it's because my work told them that they had given me money when they hadn't, so I had to prove to them that, uh, that they... So she, she said, I had to prove to them they have to send me my statements and contest it. Uh, the, there's like a hold on her money. Because her job said that they paid her when they didn't. Cute. Mm-hmm. Well, he's dead. The Koozle's fine. There's a boss over here somewhere. I'm going to go pick on him now. Hey! Ugly, come here. I don't want to. I, I will if I was talking to anybody, it'd be Kenny. Oh, there's somebody over there by the boss. But I don't understand how those people can claim that they had paid her when they didn't. Okay. I'm a clerical error. Well, I think they're trying to screw her over, to be honest, but... What's over here? Why is that skull moving, Goroth? Is he up? Is it a bat? Does she have a PayPal account? Nicola, Dad wanted to know if you had a PayPal account. She says she has one. What's up here? Dad, she's got a PayPal account, why'd you ask? I heard. I was asking. Oh, yeah. Uh, Nicola, did you hear what Dad said?
wonder if I have to go into the app and change that sound. Let's see if this makes a difference. Does that make the sound any different? I changed it. So where's the guy that's supposed to be standing there? Did I kill him already? Gorogroth. Portal key. Quick to search for. She says that um, that's very sweet of you, but I couldn't possibly take that. But tell him thank you very much. T uh, tell him thank you very much. Oh my god, I'm crying. Haha, <laughs> that was so kind. Yeah, she was saying how she's got like no breath left and um, she ran out of heat, but she's on like the emergency heat or something like that. You know, that's pretty messed up though. For people that are relying on those kinds of assistances, that they would make them wait or be to the point where they're in dire straits before somebody finally does something to help. This is beneath me. Well, damn, why are you helping me then? Did you hear what he just said? This is beneath me. Well, usually he'll say something like, uh, they will all burn or something like that, or I'll set everybody on fire. I'm like, okay. Overburdened what? Taskmaster. Okay, I'm gonna attack him next. <laughs> That's about accurate. Nicola says, the thing is, if I was a junkie, I'd get everything. Does that sound about right? I don't know how many people would, um, when I was out of work with the girls, and I, I wasn't in school or anything like that, and um, I needed financial assistance, it was more difficult for me being Caucasian with children and out of work to get AFDC and food stamps than it was for anybody else in the room. And I don't know if it was because I was Caucasian or if it was for another reason. And most of them kept having kids so that they could get more money via the checks every month, which I think is wrong. I just picked up something called Legion Ammunition. He just ran up and hit me. Oh, I'm gonna hit him all right. I'm gonna hit him till he falls over. Abhorrent artificer. Art, art. Art, artificer? Yeah, thank you. Pew. Dad's home. <laughs> uh, I found Bale Bug. He's Bale ugly. Bug? Bale Bug. Hmm. Smells like cat. <laughs> in the house. I don't smell it. Oh, it's bad. I don't smell it. You suck. Good thing about our cat litter is though after they after it the smell unpermeates from the house, we don't smell it anymore. I just got congealed fell blood. Holy crap, those guys are back up. Everything I just killed to come in here um, is already back up. Fuck. What? <laughs> Another weakling? Uh, I don't know who the. Oh. 
man, it stinks in here. Whew. I bet you that's why Runt came running in here the way he did, all, all frisky with his tail up. All proud of what he'd done. Maybe. Yeah, Nicola said it's like that here. I needed a washing machine when Chloe was young and they offered me a teddy. Okay, like that's going to wash your laundry. That makes absolutely no sense to me. There's all kinds of crap out there. All I do is hit tab and start shooting at stuff, and I've, I've got like five or six things out there I'm shooting at, and I can't see any of them. <laughs> run, run, did you do that stink? Run. Who made the stink in the kitty box? Ah, uh, I guess I killed everything. Whoops, my bad. Down here, anyways. still trying to figure out how to get out. Ha ha ha! Sucka! Yeah, it, it makes no sense how they pick who they're going to help and when. mana between your characters. I got a I got a funny looking buzzard attacking me. Cliff Wing Sky Talon. I stopped to pick up some mana and he decided he'd get all upset about it. I stole two of his eggs though. Oh, I was like, what is attacking me? I have a porcupine looking thing attacking me. I didn't even, it was yellow. I guess my demon must have accidentally bumped it or something. Accidentally. <laughs> well, I got some big gamey ribs off of it and some mana, so that works. He does the spinning thing and all, and it hits everything in the area when he does that. Do you not have, like, public laundromats or anything there where you can go and pay so much money and change and, like, wash and dry your laundry? I know we have them here. We don't have... They're not as, um... I guess you could say frequent anymore? Prevalent. Yeah, prevalent. They're, they're like... They've closed quite a few of them down. They used to be, like, everywhere. What? She says, every year there's a big thing for children in need. God, I've done, I've even done stuff to raise money for them and nobody would help me. My mom bought me, bought me a secondhand washing machine. Yet I know a couple that got sent on a holiday, all expenses paid for, and I couldn't get a washing machine. I had to pay train fare to get it, uh, to get to treatment. And she says, no, they don't. No, they don't have, they don't have laundromats there? No, she says they don't. Huh. Have I... DK wants to know, did you ever lose your cool play in that game and fling something and flip out? Uh, no, usually I just beat on my keyboard. Or cuss at it, proficiently. So usually the cussing starts first and then I beat on the keyboard. 
Dad cusses at his game, too. It, it seems to be a theme. Runs in the family. It's all your fault. My fault? You're the one that taught me to cuss. In, what was it, German first and then Spanish. Or listening to you and Mom talk, I, I picked up the English versions. And then I got in trouble for repeating them. I'm still trying to figure out how that works. You say it, I repeat it, I got my ass beat. That's not the, that's fine with me. Um, that's not cool. Not cool at all. There is a dark iron dwarf monk standing here. Okay. I didn't know a dwarf could be a monk. Did you get your cookie? Did you eat it? Got cheese? Dark Iron Dwarf Monk. Oh, this person's got a quest. Hello. I must get back. Find the smuggler. Well, I'm gonna go pick up this mana right here first, and then I'll go find the smuggler. Uh oh. You got some bad aim, buddy. You keep missing me. She said they used to have them years ago. I will need my fingers. I'm on a quest right now in order to like feed the army or something like that. I can turn in like 400 uh, mana or I can turn in like 650, 800, 1000, 1400, that kind of stuff. Mana or ancient mana? The ancient mana. Okay. In order for this to do this quest, so I figured I'd wander around the map killing stuff and looking for mana. I wandered into an area where I actually found a quest. I gotta go into the city again. Oh, and you know those guys that you told me not to mess with? that walk around in the city, inside the city limits. You said, yeah, don't mess with them, they're bad news. What city are you in? Suramar. So what point are you making? Can you mess with them? Uh, well, I was walking along, didn't realize one was behind me, and I stopped to look at the map, and he decided he'd get all bowed up because I was in his city. Did you have your disguise on? No, I hadn't. Pay I hadn't gotten that quest yet. Oh. I hadn't gotten that far. He got all bowed up and pissed off. He got all bowed up and pissed off, and so I went, and he fell over and thought about it for a minute. Just a minute. And you know the other guy that you said not to go piss off? Yeah. Um, I went and pissed him off too. But I, I did that on purpose. Kind of Recover six stashed supplies. And I'm going to do it without a disguise on. I can always put it on if I need to. Right? Nope. Too late. Once they're on your ass, you're discovered until you kill it. I know. What if I want to just kill it? That, that's why I'm not wearing no disguise. I want to be able to just kill it. Yeah, to get the kids 
out of jail yet? No. Um, I'm working on the quest for the smuggler, uh, the smuggler, the stash supplies. That's what I'm working on right now. Oh, okay. I haven't done the jail quest yet. Some serious health issues. Maybe they need Obamacare. Obamacare? No, no, they need Trump care. Trump care. Yeah, we're we're gonna make America great again. Um, well, <laughs> Wait, are you saying that Trump care wouldn't be a good good option? seeing new messages on my screen but like it wouldn't let me get down to the new messages now I did that and I I've got what looks like it could be Spanish could be French oh, I don't know could be Russian. I don't give a crap if you're chosen to rule or not you're gonna die you picked on me I don't even come up to your knee uh oh he's thinking about the fact that he hit me and now his buddy's over here picking on me. It's a joke. It's like a spoof of Obamacare. Because Obamacare wasn't really that great of an idea. Or I should say that great of a anything. And by calling it Trump Care, it makes it ten times worse. Disguise on? I'm gonna hide in the bush. You know what I mean? It says I'm in combat. In combat with what? There's nothing here. Here, I'll pick on a firefly. Will that make you happy? Now I'm in combat. It won't let me put a disguise on. It says I'm in combat. I think it's missing. It's too late once, once you're in combat. Uh, now I've already killed a few things I'm not worried about that but once you're out of combat it should it won't even let me sit to eat food it says I'm in combat you can't if you're in combat you can't do but there's anything. my the screen isn't lit to. up my name isn't circled in red everything that was around me is dead yep it's bugged uh, now we've got some people from the Czech Republic Uh, I don't know. Only thing I understood in it was dro do dro bi do brivi dens z and then Czech Republic. I don't think I know any Czech words. I don't either. I mean, I've got a friend that's from Croatia, but that's a whole different language. What's in here? I've never been in here before. Mm -hmm. Sanctuary order. White mushroom people. What? Um. I just walked in somewhere called the Sanctum of Order. Mushroom people. Ah. Uh, are you smoking them, boiling them, eating them? What are you doing Shoot with your shit out of them? You're scaring the shit out of them? Shooting them. Oh. Well. Because they're whacking me and throwing spores on me. And... There's a gold elite here named Orel. 34,000 hit points. He's got a yellow exclamation point over his head, but I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to kill him just because. Yeah, Nicola, Obamacare was kind of a joke. They... Um... Like universal health care only works. It's it's worse than universal health care because it's so 
unrealistic, I guess you could say, because it's supposed to help you out. You have to like apply for it once a year and you have to make a minimum of $15,000 in order to qualify for it. And then if you do qualify for it, then the what they charge for the insurance like like say my dad he has health insurance through his work uh, I'm in Florida Mary um, so you say he pays say $300 a month for his his health care and you know that is what he has to pay and then his work pays the difference well with Obamacare it tells you that your you're required to pay like five hundred or six hundred dollars something like that in order to qualify for Obamacare you have to pick a plan the plan says you what your bill is is six hundred dollars but then they give you a credit that is worth so much money per month and what they do is they take that six hundred dollars they subtract the credit off and then you have to pay the rest and then with each plan through various companies, you have like say a deductible where um, if you go to get a prescription, you have to pay like so much money out of pocket first in order to get your prescription for free or before the insurance even kicks in. Or same thing with a, a doctor's appointment, you have a deductible where one of them I looked at, the cheapest plan that they offered me when I applied back in December was it was $600 a month but the deductible for doctor's visits was like $64,000 and unless you're gonna go have like a heart surgery or something like that that's a hell of a lot of money for a deductible and I don't know if it was a typo on the website but it said the medical deductible to go see like a doctor or hospital that kind of thing before your insurance even kicks in to cover anything you have to pay sixty four thousand dollars out of pocket i'm like they they gotta be nuts absolutely nuts and then if you look at any of the other plans with like a lower deductible because when i was on insurance a year or two ago the deductible was like eight hundred dollars for a doctor's visit and i think it was like 120 dollars for um medication and with $120 for medication that's like two prescriptions for me so that was easy to meet and then um, you know you would your insurance would kick in and, and cover most of it and then you would just have to pay whatever you know like $20 to go see the doctor or $5 per prescription that kind of thing but a lot of stuff has changed with Obamacare since Trump took office like last year I didn't even apply um, I didn't apply for insurance for 2018 number one because I couldn't afford it and two Trump changed a bunch of stuff on it so now when you qualify for it the rates and everything for the monthly deductibles and that kind of stuff has all gone up so it's so darned expensive that you can't you can't afford insurance or I, I should say you can't afford to get prescriptions you can't afford to get a lot of things really there's this guy over here beating the absolute snot out of the side of a building and I don't know why oh uh, now I'm actually over here and it he's actually helping attack a Shalderai insurgent Yeah, say, now if I go to the doctor now, with insurance, if I go to the doctor, he charges the insurance company $250 and I have a $50 deductible that I have to pay out of pocket. If I go to the doctor as a cash paying payment, I only have to pay $50, period. So it's, it's kind of, if you really think about it, um, if I pay for cash and not use insurance, it's 50 bucks. If I use insurance, the doctor charges my insurance $250 and then I still have to pay the 50 bucks either way. So it's like they get paid 50 bucks for me, whether or not I have insurance or don't have insurance. And then they charge the insurance company the extra money and then they get paid by the insurance company as well.
Um, the thing is, is if you're really unwilling, you don't have the money, then you're screwed. Royally, completely up Shit's Creek with no paddle, no no help, no nothing. Screw. Ooh. I, I walked into a building and some guy said, something's not quite right. Oops. I didn't realize he had a blue thing over his head. Oh, you want to run in from the street and pick on me? Your buddy's laying there on the ground dead and you want to do that. Oh, there's two of y'all. Okay, I can play. You want to siphon from me? I can siphon right back, buddy. Siphon your life away. Oh, you're not feeling too good. You got a tummy ache? Now what just attacked me? I had a mask on and all of a sudden it just went off. And it just fell off again. I only need one more. Yeah, basically they would. They they put you in the hospital and then they're like, oh well you're you're okay, you're you're fine, you can go home now. They do that a lot of times, like if people go in and they have um, what they consider like heartburn or indigestion, they've sent many of people home from the hospital and claimed that that they were okay to go home and then they've gone home still feeling the way that they felt while they were at the hospital and then um, they end up going home and they die because the hospital released them. someone has cancer you're fucked they won't help you pay for that kind of stuff they don't help pay for treatments I was surprised they paid for my surgery they paid for my surgery they paid for my blood work uh, they even paid for my hospice my home health stuff that I had and I was told that they wouldn't so Seek out Lady Lanastre. Yeah, they basically told me that I was SOL when I got some of the diagnoses that I got, and they were like, I didn't, I honestly didn't expect them to pay for my medical care. When they told me I had to have surgery, I didn't think that they'd cover it. Even though what I had was killing me, it, they didn't, they didn't care. So my doctor worded everything very carefully in order for me to get, you know, what I got. I mean, technically, if you really think about it, it was a fibroid. Oh, I gotta go up. I was up. Now you wanna... Never mind. Rumble complain. So, on my paperwork, the doctor had put invasive fibroid, invasive uterine fibroid, instead of actually putting, you know, what it really was.
I'm so confused. The bad part about healthcare here is you go to your general practitioner to, to have them, you know, look at you or whatever. And then they're like, oh, well, because of the stupid rules and this, that, and the other, we have to send you somewhere else. And they do. They will send you somewhere else. And then you've got to go to that doctor, and then that costs more money. And Hello. so every doctor that you go to, you have a copay. What am I missing? Dad, have you done this quest? I'm in Suramar. I'm in the Concourse of Destiny. It says I have to go seek out Lady Lilith. And so there's like a teleporter thing. And I go down, and when I go down, it says she's up. And I go back up, and she's not here. There's just the teleporter. she's up. Maybe she's in a different spot up. Yeah, we didn't even get that. See, the thing is, like, especially with Obamacare, uh, you don't get, like, dental cleanings or anything like that covered by your insurance. You have to, you have to add on a plan. So you have your regular health insurance, and then you have your dental care, and then you have vision, and all of those are all separate plans. And you have to pay for all of them separately. They all have separate deductibles. Yeah, that too. They all, and you have to pay so much money out of pocket for each one. It's asinine if you ask me. It really is. The menagerie. Aw, those are pretty. Confined wind serpents. I don't know where I'm going. Crazy? You're gonna beat me there. Yeah. The Devil Soar Lunch Box. Add this toy to your toy box. 100% health and mana over 10 seconds. Taking damage will remove the effect. Lunch is limited to the broken aisles, but comes with a roasting menu and matching thermos. <laughs> It costs a thousand ancient mana, or you can get a souvenir elec. The menagerie is not responsible for any lost or stolen merchandise left on the grounds. A souvenir raptor. Again, it says the same thing about lost or whatever so souvenirs. That's funny. Yeah, they, they have pet insurance, too. And that stuff is just... That's as expensive as human insurance, if not more expensive. And not all, like, pet insurance is, encompasses, like, treatments that you would have done to your pet. Which is kind of stupid, but...
I gotta figure out how to get back to my body. I did. God, I'm dead and I can fly. What? Yeah, come look. I'm dead and I'm flying. But I can't fly out here. Oh. Ironic much? You're flying. I'm flying. Come look. I'm, no, I haven't no, resurrected no, no, no. you. sights right frick in front of me right there right in front of me not in touch uh, not in line of sight it's right there I'm in it not in line of sight
funny, DK. He's like, well, in another 10 plus years, I'll be saying hello to my false teeth. Nicola said that they don't get free dentist care unless you're on benefits. People don't like really lose their teeth until they're a lot older than that. I mean, unless you're you've got crap teeth to start with. I mean, I know people that are like 60s and 70s that still have their teeth. So it just really depends on how well you take care of your your teeth. I know Dad still has all his teeth. Most of them. Well, yeah, except for the. One that got broken when you were a kid. That's not like really your fault. Oh, son of a gun. I've done walk past her a number of times. She's right here. city. Uh, Surmar? Yeah, it is. Yeah, Surmar. Have you seen the cutscene? I just did with the lady Lunestre. I, I must have walked past her like three separate times. Didn't realize she was standing right here. It said she was standing here overlooking the city. Sure enough, she wasn't. Oh god, now I gotta walk back through all that crap to get to that. Great. I love it. You go here, get a quest. You go all the way over there, get a quest. You come here, turn turn the quest in, and do go all the way back over there. And then you gotta go all the way back to where you. Back over there, turn it in. Yep. Getting my exercise. Am I fit yet? I mean, I am a gnome, so I, I shouldn't. Well, now nah, I'm fit for a gnome. At least I'm not a dwarf. A dwarf is just an ugly gnome. Yeah, only bigger. It's 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 a short, fat human or a tall, fat gnome. Yeah. With em emphasis on fat. Catfish. catfish. I mean, I'm fishing in a, in, a, in a stream and I'm catching great sea catfish. Wait a minute. You're fishing in a what? I'm in, in a stream. You're in a stream and yep. you're catching great sea catfish. catfish. Yep. Great sea catfish. Um. Sounds like there's something wrong with that. Yeah, I'm using my mud soaked boat. No, I'm kidding. But you're fishing in a stream, catching and you're great catching sea great sea catfish. Maybe it's just a pond. I don't know. It's just a pond. But again, the the operative word is sea. S-E-A. Sea catfish. 
I gotta go down there? Where the hell is my slow fall thing? Inconspicuous basket. Yeah. Scarch your hands. You uh, follow the one that stops and talks to people? No, I I use my little toy that I have that helps with slow fall. I jumped off of something trying to get down somewhere else. And I have to go down and like help the somebody feed somebody in the sewers, but there's a person here who keeps like laughing. I don't know why. Sounds like a night elf female. Oh, I'm in Suramar. I okay. need I need to go down this way. High elves. Yep, they're high elves. Low born trash. <laughs> Rude. And I swear, with this disguise on, I run ten times slower. Oh, and these mothers You're are taller. just gonna. You're taller. I'm, t I'm taller, that's why I look like I'm running through. Yeah, you're blood. running the same speed. You just move your legs slower. Thankfully. If you weren't lowborn trash, you'd know that. Well, I'm a gnome. I'm not even lowborn. You know what I need mean? Nope. Don't know what you mean. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Evade? What the? Your dog is wandering off slowly. You didn't even say the F word. You didn't even raise your voice and she went that way. Yeah, chicken! Chicken dog! Oh, oh, I yelled and she got up and, and came back in here under your feet. trying to complete a quest and I've clicked it like 18 times and it's still sitting there on the complete quest screen. says one of our one of the people glad you could make it your help is sorely needed here I night Nicola uh, I click on complete quests and I'm just let me click out of it I can click it again oh shit it went through the second time and I clicked it one too many times and I completed it and accepted the next one and didn't even get a chance to read it. Oops. Okay, I can pull it up and read it. Get some sleep, Nicola. I guess I can. She stayed up overnight with you.
nice on outside when you came back? Because I no. am. I tried getting him in several times, but I can't seem to figure out where he went. figure I'm loud enough he should be able to hear me but I'm loud enough to echo through the entire yard so I don't know Well, at least in this part of the city, I don't have to worry about the guards. like all the all the people running around are um, none of them have that thing over their, head. over their head yeah I mean I'm still wearing my disguise but I don't know if I would absolutely have to have it in order to do what I'm doing right now Eat. yeah I put it in for three minutes usually I let it hey I just found a little chest it says the treasure chest is 66.64 yards that way, and I just found one at my feet. Now it says 75 miles, uh, 75 yards away. I think it's corn fused. I have to give people mana wine. Offer mana wine. It says, so hungry, mind is slipping. I have to offer them mana wine. Night will be praised. I thought I was going to die. Oh no. Aw, there's a little kid here that's got stuff for sale. An illusion bomb. It says places a nightborn clone at a target location attracting nearby nightborn into attacking it. A shimmering crystal. If your masquerade disguise is broken within the next five minutes, you will be stealth for five seconds and your clone will appear, drawing your enemies away when you come out of stealth. Masquerade will be reapplied. And then there's enchanted firecrackers. Throw on the ground. A string of firecrackers laced with mana. That's kind of cool. Yeah, 
to find the last person. Oh, that was loud. I hate it when YouTubers have music in their videos and it's so freaking loud it blows you out of the chair. Mm -hmm. Closer. My doors are always open. But you're not close enough. Right? That's what that means. You're not close enough. So get closer. Okay, I'm gonna go get beep now. Just what it looked like when you moved your view. Uh, she felt 